Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. Well, we're here on the Audio Technica stand with Robert talking all things microphone. How is it going so far, IBC 2024? Thanks, Sarah. It's been really busy. You're on the second day of wrapping up. It's uh, We've had a full booth, and as you can see behind us, we have this immersive cube experience, which we've uh, been quite excited about uh, debuting here at a B2B environment for the broadcasters. So yeah, very, very well, actually. And tell us all about your position now within the industry, just yeah. uh, for those who don't know. Yeah, it's okay. Well, Audio Technica has been around over 60 years, right? And uh, we are quite a wide company when it comes to audio. Um, we own both the retail consumer space and right up to the professional uh, for anywhere from live sound through to broadcast where we are here today. So it's a, it's a wide range of projects, but ultimately we're a transducer company, okay? So uh, it's gonna be uh, headphones, microphones, which probably we're here for, and also cartridges. We started with a phono cartridge. So anything that's you know move, uh, creating an electrical signal from a movement uh, is what we do. So uh, in this space here, we feel it's, we, we love being here because we're at the top of that pyramid in terms of broadcast microphone technology. What trends are we seeing at the minute, Robert, in that kind of technology? I think something that's very exciting for us is just being along for a ride with the broadcasters. Of course, we want to be part of a solution. We're seeing a lot of technology, technology changes, remote production, etc. But um, what we're doing here is, is showcasing the 3600, which is our immersive microphone. And that trend has really been around for the last six years as broadcasters, especially live, in, in live sound need to create more immersive content, right, and deliver that for media rights, broad, uh, rights holder broadcasters, et cetera. So uh, that's what, we, what we're showcasing here, and I find just being along for that ride quite exciting. Now, with Audio Technica, we've been involved with the world's largest sporting events since uh, when they're coming up to 30 years now, um, and so we use those, uh, those events really to develop uh, like a personal laboratory to come up with some great um, uh, conceptual ideas and then bring those through into production. Um, and we're showcasing some work we've done with MotoGP, for example, inside, inside of our cabin. Um, and I, I, I'm just fascinated to be along there. We're at the start of a signal chain as a microphone company, um, but to be along that journey, I understand how the broadcasters um, are having to uh, rise to those challenges in, in a changing world is uh, very exciting. So for us, it's just great to be along for the ride. Yeah, it's so fast moving at the minute. Yeah. And now you talked yeah. about this beside you. Let's uh, tell everybody about what yeah. we're actually seeing here. So this is our BP3600, which we started developing about, as I said, about six years ago. Uh, this is, an, we call it immersive microphone actually, right? So uh, it, obviously broadcasters have been um, delivering in 5.1 for quite, quite some time, but there's been a call, especially since some of the larger uh, sporting events to have a more, you know, an immersive uh, 914 solution uh, delivered to uh, certain uh, to certain broadcast channels. And but sports broadcasting is live, yeah. So you can do so much in post production with technology um, and taking all your time. But there is no chance in sports in, in sports broadcasting. So as I said, being at the top of the pyramid, we work with the top broadcasters and, and the top top events. So they need something that's quick, fast to deploy, um, understandable, and can be mixed live. So this is what we. Do delivered with this. In motorsports, your mics are featuring and really adding to the audience experience. Yeah, that's right. We're really excited about our participation and partnership with MotoGP. So we started there six years ago, and first of all, we did the track feed mics, but they're asking us for a, a better solution on the onboard microphones. And that's been really exciting for us. We developed a special microphone for the bikes. And originally, they just wanted you know a microphone to sound better and manage the high SPLs of a bike traveling at over 300 kilometers an hour. But what we've ended up with is creating a solution where there can be up to nine microphones on one bike. And that's now being conceptually, at the point of mixing by the MotoGP guys, thought of as a mobile microphone array. And you'll be able to see some of that in, in the cabin, actually, uh, where you can get that true experience. So delivering just a, uh, a, a, a even a, just a two-channel experience back to users at home, you can really feel like you're part of the action and almost on a bike. What's been the reaction from people visiting the stand? Yeah. So this is, it's, it's been amazing really, because what we want to do here is have a kind of uh, how our products are used by our clients and it's almost a peer-to-peer -peer demonstration, right? Rather than us saying, oh, here's our product, go off and use it, or it's a really good, people are using it. So we're actually seeing some of the work that's being done by our top clients and uh, it's great to be able to showcase that and have partners who allow us to do that. And a bit of crystal ball gazing now, final question, what's next for you? Uh, well, as I said, you know, we're a transducer company, right? So we're always going to make microphones. We have 
obviously developing you know, new ideas in those micro fences, said it's good to be part of a solution as the industry is changing. So without saying too much, I, I think that we'll um, have some pretty exciting product coming uh, over the next few years, yeah. Sounds exciting. It is. Thanks, Robert. Lovely to see you and good luck with the rest of the show. Thanks very much, Sarah. I appreciate the time.